Corporate finance practice problem using Excel. Preferred stock yield or rate of return. Get ready. It's time to take your chance with corporate finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we are in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. We're going to have the information on the left hand side, populating that information into the blue area on the right hand side. We're calculating the preferred stock. So note we're looking into the preferred stock, this time considering what the yield or rate of return would be on it. So the information we have here, we got the dividend, the annual dividend now on the preferred stock, and we're considering the price is known at the 205. So given that information, what then would be the yield or rate of return if we're selling stock at the, at the 205 and the dividend, we're saying annual dividend, that it's being received basically the return 19.6 well we can then take okay well the annual dividend would simply be the return of the 19.6 the price is going to be the 205 therefore if we're selling the stock at the 205 on the market then the rate of return the expected rate of return is going to be that 19.6 divided by the uh, 205 let's make that a percent numbers percent adding a couple decimals we're looking about nine point five six on the percent so remember this this the the rate of return is what is what we can kind of basically be expecting on the market and obviously if we're selling the stocks here at and getting a return at the 19.6 at a price and we're selling them for the 205 then the rate of return would be then the 9.56 that would be expected so i'm going to go home tab font group underline note that before in a prior presentation, we thought about the price calculation. So this would be a similar or related kind of calculation where we got the dividend if the dividend was the 19.6 and the yield or the rate that we expect to be having is the 9.56 then, making that a percent, underlining it, font tab, underline, adding some decimals to it. Then we could get to the price, calculating the price in that instance would be the 19.6 divided by the rate of return or yield. And that would once again give us back to that 205, tying it into the prior problem we looked at.